fidget spinners. Why do they exist? Well, it's because one teacher in the early 2017s thought, hey, you know what would be a good idea? If I, if I distract my kids, I'm sorry guys, I'm looking for a tool. Where's that tool? Come on. It's definitely a tool I'm looking for. We're gonna need it in this operation. Anyways, I have found it. I shall save that bit for later. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, good. You good? You, you fine? Oh, you got, you got rid of all the cringe while I was looking for that tool? Alright, anyways. I'm gonna pause the footage to show you how one of these is basically constructed, and then after I show you these two I have with me, I'll go over why they're so dumb. Mm. Alright, fine. Right, so, alright, I've just, I've deconstructed this blue one I have with me. Alright, so, you know, your basic frame, it's just like that, okay? Toss that up to the side. And then you got normally three weights that go on these little things. So, on, on mine, this used to be my sister's one, by the way, uh, got, we, we both grew up, I don't know why I still have mine. I, I should probably just throw them to the garbage by this point, but okay. Anyways. These bit, these are bearings, good old steel bearings. You know, they don't even work as bearings. I tried putting one of them in the center and just spinning the empty frame. It doesn't work too well. And uh, now, rather than showing you the damage onto my bed, here I'll just show you. Again, simple blue frame thingy. These little finger protection bits, weight bearings. Well, very specific to mine. There you go. See that you can tell it's a bearing because of this little movable center that can move. Anyways, completely useless. I know because uh, I did tr again. As I said, I tried putting these in the middle. They didn't work too well. Not as well as a bearing that you get from the center, which is this thing. It's a basic ball bearing, not a ceramic one. Those things are too expensive for one of these. But as you can see, it's composed of just a s very simple ball and track system. It spins. That's cool and all, but like. Very basic construction. So here's how you put one together. Take this little bearing thing, put it in the center, and then put your weight bearings, in my case, around this area. Put your little finger protection bits on. There you go. Base, basic torture device that we somehow get mesmerized by any day, every day, or something. Anyways, now, oh, excuse me. Let's try to remove this one. You can't remove the weights. They're really tight in there. I want to see if you can remove the bearing with a belly song trainer. Because that's the perfect tool for this situation. Wait a minute. I'm going to slice my hand clean off if I, if I do this. Anyways, it it's impossible to get out. Put that thing off to the side. Forget about tricks. I'm not going to show you any tricks because this is not a trick channel. This is just me showing off stupid things and explaining why they're dumb. That that's, seems to be a trend on my channel, especially with the uh, latest art video thing. It is 12 a.m. I have not gotten a single w I have not gotten a single wink of sleep all night. My lights are on. So, explaining how these things were invented first. So, as far as I know, these were, were made back in... 2016, 2017, around that era where, where a school, it was, actually, if I, yeah, it was probably like, like 2015, 2016, more like then. Anyway, so, they were invented by a SPED teacher to see if she could keep her class in attention mode the entire time, and, uh, they kind of grew in popularity, and then they kind of died out very quickly, and, and I can, I can see why. That's all there is to it. Stupid little dumb thing. I just threw it halfway across the room. I'm not going to pick it up because we have this one. It's a, it's really a better one for demonstrating a fidget spinner. So anyways, these grew popular through 2016, early 2017. And they kind of died out in the summer of 2017. 
I'm just leaving my video here as a historical relic to show you how dumb these things are. I cannot stop spinning it for some reason. Again, it's just... Is this supposed to be like a form of brain mind control or something? I don't know. It's it's mesmerizing and neat, but when you realize how just stupid it is, you want to you want to huck it in the garbage, really, because I can find a better fidget with one of these. I'm glad this isn't a real blade. I would I would cut my all my fingers off by now. But anyways, look at this cool trick. A good twirl on the on the pointer. You can do better tricks with a with a ballet song training than you can do with a fidget spinner. Cause like you slowly train up yourself. Whereas this don't need no training. Just put it in between your fingers like that. Spin. Now of course you you could do it with the the finger balance. But that still isn't much. I want to go get my blue one now. At the same time, though, I'm tired. Anyways, just, just for those who are not, <clears throat> who don't even know what a fidget spinner is, now you know. It's a dumb little toy invented by a school, by a sped teacher, who wanted nothing more than to help her own daughter and her students that she taught. Man, it's so mesmerizing, it's so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna get addicted to this, like, instead of my ballet song, even though I like the trainer better than this thing. Anyway, it's just a short video explaining why dumb things exist. This is not gonna be a new series. It may, it may, if I get a hold of more stuff. But, uh, for now, this is off the screen. I said off. Anyways, just wanted to just kind of explain this. Again, I do these videos every once in a while where I'll wake up in the middle of the night, turn on my lights, get recording, and just explain some dumb facts. And that's a fact. The good fact is, these things are dumb. Yeah, we do this. We still continue... I, I don't know how many people still continue to do this, but they're still sold in many stores. I actually have a friend who still does this. Most of the days in school, in English class, he just goes. But listen to this. I'll put this up next to the camera just so you can see. That's not a fart, that's, that's it. Striking the blanket I have here. See? It's a blanket. Anyways, that's it from me. You're not going to see another video from me until uh, probably another week or two. I don't have an upload schedule. I just upload randomly when I have an awkward thought. Hmm. Eh. Bye-bye. That's all I'm... I, 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 I can't believe I wasted time on this. I wasted time explaining like how these dumb little things exist. Again, I'm going to pause the video. I'll be right back. You're going to just jump cut. Just like right now. Anyways, reminder. How this thing is built. Pop, pop, pop. Poop, poop, pop. Simple plastic frame. Little finger protection plastic thingies. Weights. Bearing. The end. That's all you need to, to make one of these. These things are boring, yet we still do this. You know, I'm going to leave this off with a light-hearted... Give me a second here. Where did I put it? Ah. A 3D printed donut for you. Manufactured today in my CAD class. It's made entirely in Blender. First Blender model we printed. We actually have a secondary one to test out Blender. Printing out right now. It's both made by me. I outsource. I outsource the models to see if, because I'm the only one in the class who really uses Blender. Anyways, instead of getting too deep into that, because I'll get off topic again. Number dumb reminder: these things are dumb, and yet we still, for some unknown reason, to humanity. We still spin with these things. 
I don't know if I can call it spinning or more just like mindless dumbfoundedness when staring at one of these. Okay, now nah, I'm not gonna angrily huck this thing across the room because as much as it's dumb, it's memory. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Why am I making this video? Why am I doing? Why am I doing this? Want to look at my production team real quickly before I end this video? Jump cut. You know, just a quick little jump cut. You know what? Look at this. One. That's my production team. Non-existent, basically. So, you know. Let's break this one day. I think I, I think I broke it. I think I broke the gluing. That makes me happy. What doesn't make me happy is the fact this thing is still spinning. Look. If you look there. Oh, wrong side. That little white line right there, that's a crack. There we go. Broke. Still can spin though. This is from me continuously popping the bearings in and out. It just flung one of its bearings across the room. Come on, break already. You know it's a bad sign when it starts cutting you. Look how easy this thing can pop out. That easy. What? Didn't do much damage. You know what? Let's get you in on this action. A couple of whacks of blunt object will eventually break. I gotta remember that that's a weak point and that needs to be snapped. Didn't break yet. You know what? I'm gonna break this. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Anyways, I'm gonna work at this and then I'll get back to you when it breaks. Progress update. Got that bit stuck in there. All right, I'll continue working on it. Was once this, now it's broken. No more fidget spinner like that. Now I got a mellow one. That one's gonna be stuck here for a while. But now I get to go find the other bearing. And keep it as a. I get to keep these bearings as a trophy of success. Probably just toss it the other two and just keep this one. That one can do some nice 3D printing work. I plan on doing a demonstration of a wall starts valve gear. If you don't know what that is, it's a common valve gear used on steam locomotives, and I will not talk about that until the next video. Anyways, bye.